Hello guys, Mo here again, and today I'm bringing you a different update. I have finally got this tank somewhere close to what I want. Alright guys, so today I'm just bringing you an update on the tank, showing you what it looks like right now. Right now it's, it's close to where I want it. I got the majority of the equipment out of the tank, thank god. Uh, I'm no longer using the hang on the backs, but they're there because I don't have anywhere to put them. Okay, so I'm putting them up for sale. Um, I finally drilled my tank. I got, I did a DIY PVC overflow, and right now the fish are loving it. The fish are looking healthy, the fish are looking good. I've smoothed out the sand because I don't have power heads again that push the sand everywhere. All right, I got that one power head in the corner there. And my reasoning for that was for flow, so the water comes out on top, goes across, goes behind the rocks, and this power head will push it back. But then I realized my fish were being blown everywhere. So this morning I took it off to see what the flow would be like, to see what the fish reaction would be like. And the fish are looking like they can actually swim, they're not being tossed, they're not being blown, uh, the breeze is not building up on the... the, the sand bed like what I thought it would have been built up like without the power head so I think I will take that power head out of the tank now yes guys so this is what my tank looks like and oh, yes I am so glad I did it so glad I got it done I took a leap of faith because I was afraid the glass would crack but I got it drilled by a partner of mine a friend of mine by the name of Kingsley Guys, if you're in Trinidad and you want your tank drilled safely, give me a shout and I will link you up with Kingsley. He does everything for me. That's my boy. Yeah, so here we could see that little power head, which is no longer in use. I have my hang on the backs so that's no longer in use. Gonna clean them up and put them up for sale, as I said before. And you can see those pipes down on the other side. Yeah, let's go down to the engine. This is the actual engine. Okay, guys. So this is my sump. When you drill a tank, you gotta put the water somewhere. So this is my sump. I attach some PVC going down into a sterilite drawer uh, with filter floss, the usual filter floss, uh, pot scrubbies, and then I use ceramic bio rings, and I also use uh, lava rock as my media. This is my DIY spray bar. Okay, I built it. Um, pretty simple, simple, nothing too hard. Just some elbows, 90 degree elbows connected, coming across. Drill the holes, 90 degree elbows again, coming up into an end cap. So it could, this is just so that it will hang. All right, I probably didn't need this hang inside because when I didn't realize that when the PVC goes on, oops, sorry, when the PVC goes on, it would have been stable enough. Okay. So as you, you guys can see, it's looking good. The fish are looking good. It's happy, and there's no buildup on the sand bed of poop or anything like that. So I kind of eliminated, eliminated the um, dead spots, right? And as you could see. That is a lot of surface agitation. It starts from one side of the tank and it still goes all the way to the other side. Look, all the way to the other side. So there's surface agitation across the entire tank. And this is a five foot tank. All right, so I think I have it down for now. This is the science. So the engine of the tank is down. The functionality of the tank is down. Now I gotta work on the aesthetics. Okay, so I've got to clean up these rocks. These rocks have algae on them, yes. Um, not so much the river rocks, but this little ornament. It used to be kind of white, but now it's like moss green. It's very green. So i got to clean that one up just to improve the looks. I think I'm probably going to paint the background. But moving this tank is a hell of a task. So I'm probably going to need some friends to help me out in that department can't do that by myself all right so I'm gonna do some stuff change the lighting you know 
and probably when I change the lighting <coughs> excuse me when I change the lighting I may actually thinking about it, playing with the idea of adding some plants live plants I really detest plastic plants even though they look pretty cool inside there right now but um yeah so that's probably the direction I want to go in all right so this is my tank this is the flow this is the engine I have a sump um, I'm making some changes guys hopefully it's for the better all right so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below any suggestions any ideas let me know I like to hear from you guys all right so enjoy the day this is me Mo this is my tank and I'm out